legalizing killing undocumented migrants on suspicion of trespassing. Trespassing. Okay. Why don't you throw jaywalking in there for good measure? Assassination for jaywalking. What are we talking about here? This is like full dehumanization mode. Okay, let's go to the specifics. Arizona Republicans are advancing a bill that would allow people to legally kill someone accused of attempting to trespass or actively trespassing on their property. The legislation, which is expected to be vetoed if it reaches the state's Democratic governor, would legalize the murder of undocumented immigrants who often have to cross ranches that sit on the state's border with Mexico. So let's be clear what this bill is. It is just legalizing murder. Because in these scenarios that they know exist and that they're describing and that they're addressing with this bill, they're saying there's no nefarious nature to this. There's no malintent. There's no maliciousness. They're not on the property to try to do some sort of grand larceny. No, they're just crossing from one place to another so that they can get to work. And they're saying, well, if they're on your property, it should be legal for you to kill them. Even if they're just walking to work. I don't know about you guys. I've done it a million times in my life. Crossing somebody's lawn, walking over their property. Right? You're going for a walk and the sidewalk runs out and you got to walk across somebody's yard or whatever the hell it is. In this world, if that happens and you're an undocumented immigrant, immigrant they could legally kill you. <clears throat> all right. Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory. To Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because those are the men who I learned the truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of the God of Israel. Yahweh Shai is so who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one and only true name is Yahweh Shai. And um, pretty much, you know, as everybody should know by now, America, as well as um, Europe, I think, too, but focusing on America, America is going through a migrant crisis, which this is actually, you know, in the scriptures. All right. Because the migrant crisis is a part of all hell breaking loose. All right. It's intended to cause a global economic collapse or an economic collapse in order to usher in a new system. So all these different factors, like the banks closing down, you know, them banning cash, companies closing down, the unemployment rate going up, crime going up, all of this is associated with um, Jacob's trouble, as well as inflation, famine, so forth and so on, all right? So in this lesson, I'm gonna um, show you where this bill actually comes from and how it relates to um, Bible prophecy. All right. So if you go on Google and you type in um, Arizona GOP advanced bill legalization, killing migrants, you're going to see all these different articles here. All right. Now, we're going to read about the origin of why they are proposing this bill. Now, this article, it came out February 27th, 2024. It says Arizona GOP advances bill legalizing killing undocumented migrants on suspicion of trespassing right because pretty much the way how these migrants get here they pretty much um pay like cartel people that lead them through you know the daring jungle through um nicaragua and they gotta travel up and they have to go through mexico all right so now you have a surge of migrants coming here, undocumented migrants, and these different home and landowners, you know, they're um, pissed off about that, right? So now let's go down here. So it says, Arizona Republicans are advancing a bill that would allow people to legally kill someone accused of attempting to trespass or actively trespassing on their property, right? It says the legislation, which is expected to be voted if it reaches the state's Democratic governor, will legalize murder of undocumented immigrants who often have to cross ranches that sit on the state's border with Mexico. Right. It says State Representative Justin Heap 
said the bill is intended to close a loophole by which migrants have moved within the U.S. per the Arizona Mirror, right? It says George um, Elaine Kelly, an Arizona rancher, was accused of killing a migrant. So this is why they are proposing this bill. This is based off of this situation that happened, right? So this is the context of why they are proposing this bill. So it says George Elaine Kelly, an Arizona rancher, was accused of killing a migrant, Gabriel Kuhn um, Butama. You know, I guess that's, you know, I can't really pronounce that name, but you see how it's spelled. Walking through his 170-acre property last year per the Arizona Republic. His trial is set for March 21st, right? So, I mean, you know, that's pretty much it. So these different landowners, these different Republicans, they're getting tired of this migrant crisis. And this is causing, you know, a division within America. All right. You read um, Matthew 12 and 26. It says, if Satan be divided against Satan, how shall his kingdom stand? You got Democrats against the Republicans, which we know, you know, um, the central bankers, the elite banker families, they control both sides of the spectrum. But the spirit that's on these regular civilian people within America, there's a division. Right. So now let's read the um, scriptures. So this is the GNT. This is Second Ezra 15 and 16. It says there will be great political turmoil. This is associated with end time prophecy. All right. These are things that we will be seeing right now. But the prophets, they had the visions of the future. Right. Second Ezra 15 and 16. It says there will be great political turmoil with one group trying to overpower another. You got Republicans versus Democrats. Right. It says, and gain control while ignoring the legitimate government. Because ultimately, who's in the policy right now? The Democrats. So the Republicans, they're getting tired of this. Now, when you go on Google, and you type in political term or your definition, it says a state of confusion, uncertainty, or disorder. The whole region is in turmoil. Why? Because of a migrant crisis. Right? You got the migrants, they're beating up the cops, they're getting away scot-free. And they're pretty much living for free on people's uh, tax money, right? It says the country is in a state of political turmoil because they don't know where to put the migrants, right? It's like a surge, you know, over 149% if you do your research of undocumented migrants coming into America, all right? So this is sparking turmoil. This is sparking disorder, sparking confusion. And these different Republicans, these different um, landowners, you know, people that um, live in states where, you know, you could um, carry guns and stuff of that nature. They're getting tired of these Democrats allowing just anybody to come through the border. So now they're prepared to take matters into their own hands. And when you read in the KJV, it mentions sedition. So this is part of the reason why you have this sedition because of the migrant crisis. Right. So now let's read this. This is um Second Ezra thirteen and thirty one. It says, matter of fact, let me see. This is Second Ezra thirteen and thirty and thirty one in the GNT. It says, at that time, everyone will be close to panic. They will begin to make war against one another. And that's what's going on. You got the migrants versus, you know, the Americans, right? City against city. Region against region. Nation against nation. So we're seeing this with the migrant crisis. It's going to make crime go up. It's going to make the government implement martial law. It says in kingdom against kingdom. So that's what's going on. You have kingdom against kingdom, right? Now I'm going to end it with this. <clears throat> This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, in all history, there has never been such a time of terror. It would be a time of trouble for my people Israel. Yeah, because the Israelites is going to be in straits. They're going to be in positions of difficulty because there's going to be an economic collapse. Right? It says, yet in the end, they will be saved. And the ones that's going to be saved is who? The elect of the nation of Israel. All right? So, Lord willing, 
you was edified by the lesson. Shalom.